it, it's been, I'm going to date all of us now because I watch these shows too, but 22 years since Flora was last on at the challenge, 19 for Adam. Just for each of you, I guess, why didn't you return before? Were there offers to come back and maybe why did you turn them down before, before now? Adam, you want to take this one first? Beauty before age. That would be you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah let, let me, so one was because um there's so many reasons i i i took a job in the wine spirits industry and i couldn't come back for that one also um like i kind of went out at, at a time where like it was getting very it probably wasn't the time for me to come back Right. Okay. I, I preferred to compete in different sort of ways. I was trying to act and nobody thought it was legitimate for me to do shows. Um, I had a family and real jobs and it wasn't able to come back. So there's like every excuse imaginable of why I didn't come back. I didn't want like the challenge to become my career. Um, mm. And I don't know. That's about it, Brian. <laughs> It's a fair and reason, I, fair many I reasons. I just couldn't, but I couldn't for so many reasons. Yeah. It's like the stars and, align this time around. And how about for you, Flora? Just well, You are one and done. <laughs> yeah. For me, yeah, I'm a one-hit wonder. Um, <laughs> for me, it was very similar with uh, to Adam. I'm a single mom. My, uh, my daughter's dad uh, passed away when she was 10. Mm -hmm. Um, so for me, it was a do or die survive mode and to make sure that I keep the lifestyle that I was, um, um, accustomed to. I mean, I mean, that sounds a little cheesy and tacky, but I just didn't want anything to change when, um, for my daughter, when her dad passed away. So it was work, 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 you know, making sure that, uh, she's on the right track because she's um she's a tennis player and you know I, I wanted to focus all my energy into making money so I could support her bad habit of tennis um <laughs> so um for me the stars were not aligning just as for Adam being a single parent um you know your priority is being a grown-up and taking care of your family, which is your child and yourself and making sure that they're comfortable and safe. And um, so at that point, it was not an option for me. And then once she turned, you know, 18, she was 17. Um, uh, so when I went on the, the last challenge, um, so it was okay. She was already all set. She was already going to college. She was old enough for me not to have to make sure she's okay. Cause she was okay. My parents were yeah. willing to come here and stay with her just in case she needs something. And you know what? I thought to be the coolest mom in the world. If she go when she goes to college, how cool is it? My mom was on the challenge. These kids in college still watch this. So imagine right. <laughs> you're on the tennis team and your mom is so cool. Right. I was so, going to say, and it's, like it's I a show they can actually yeah. watch because I know Miami right. isn't streaming. Your road rule season isn't streaming anywhere. So this is something that is out there. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool for our kids, whether they're 9, 10, or 18. We're still the coolest parents out there. Right, Adam? <laughs> I hope so. Hey, Hunter Harlow. Am I the coolest I parent out there? Yeah. <laughs> right? Add that in. Add that. Add that. We'll add it in. Brian. <laughs> well, I guess, what do your kids think of your reality TV pass? Because, like I said, you know, it's not fully available to, to them, but what do they know? Well, we what do they think? Turkish subtitles at like 320, like completely pixelated and everything. <laughs> We had, we, I found it from like one of the fans had a site where he like, I could go and find the episodes because I don't have a, I don't have a VCR anymore. So obviously when they sent them right. to us, they were all on VHS and stuff like yeah. that. <laughs> and so we were watching, hey girls, come here. <laughs> the, and so we were watching them. What did you think when you saw dad on, on the show? Come here. Get to work. You don't get all the money and not have to give interviews. <laughs> They're like, this is your thing, Dad. <laughs> okay. On the first show, I was cuckoo. This is this is Hunter. 
Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, and the dog, adorable. <laughs> that's not our dog. That's somebody else's dog. You might. This oh, is this Daisy. is a past castmate, or this is a this is a cast member from Real World. Daisy. <laughs> I never dated the dog. I've dated some, <laughs> and some, and some of the people I've dated have called me a dog. Right. <laughs> My daughter, I mean, she's ecstatic when I leave, obviously. But um, you know, that's why I have to bring my parents uh, to stay here and make sure a seventeen-year-old doesn't do what a seventeen-year-old needs to do. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so she's my daughter. I mean, she thinks it's awesome. She thinks it's better than awesome. I'm the greatest. I'm the coolest, you know, for about 10 minutes. And then she's off to do her own cool things. Of course. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I think our kids, the one, you know, us OGs that have kids, um, we do a lot of this uh, for them. Uh and we try to portray the best of us because maybe back in the days when we were, you know, road rules or real world, trust you me, I wasn't, um, I wasn't a wholesome little flower. So I'm hoping here at least I could say, Hey, this is mommy. This is, this is the real me where before I was, you know, you know, young, crazy, didn't give a crap. So uh, hopefully, you know, this time around, you know, we show our kids, what life really is all about and how we really are as grownups. I was going to say, is that, you know, what are the reasons why you did decide to come back now? Part of it is to show it maybe a different side of you, show something to yes, your kids. Yes, absolutely. I guess what were the motivations now that made now the right time? For me, the right time is that I am where I want to be financially, mm -hmm. um, emotionally, and um I did what I had to do for many years as a single mom since my, my husband passed away. So I was, um, you know, I had to put myself back on the map. And since I didn't have another, I, my parents, obviously, the support system yeah. and good friends. But, you know, I never borrowed from anybody. I worked my butt off to get to where I want to be. And I needed to do that before I could say, Phew, now I can go and play and do something for myself and make my daughter proud. Not only did I raise her, put her through the tennis of millions of dollars and tennis parents know how much that costs. I also am able to go off for however long and not worry about financials and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it was just the oh. right time for me. <laughs> yeah, it, it helped me financially. Like I went from you know, like just trying to survive to a place where I was ready to perhaps thrive again. And I really mm. wanted to model certain things for the girls, whether that was the work ethic, like Flora's talking about how, like what love could look like and like how to be treated by other people, how to treat others, but still be able to be respected or like not be walked over or whatever, just I, I think that, you know, all the seasons of the challenge, whatever, is really cool that they gave us an opportunity to show us in a different season of our life. Like, mm -hmm. is there's so many, like, like Flora says, there's so many single parents there. There's so many great things to bond over. Whereas a couple of decades ago, it was kind of like whatever bar appearances or spring breaks, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. we were just doing different things. And so it was beautiful. I think you even say you're, you're Adam 4.0 now in the first episode that I've seen. So I think everyone has changed a bit for the better, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. For decade sure. number four, fourth version. <laughs> and, you know, I guess when you do start out in reality TV and you're doing these shows back to back to back and then it starts to taper off, what is that transition like when you are going kind of away from reality TV for a while back into the real, real world? <laughs> Um, you know what? I've got an interesting answer for you that I've never given anybody. It just popped into my mind. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell you and then, like, <laughs> but, but permission to edit. Okay. <laughs> okay. When you're growing up, you always want to be a part of something. And all of a sudden when you're a part of something, like the specialness is taken away from it. So like 
going to clubs and standing in lines and like being VIP, like all of those type of things. I'm so glad because like the show gave me this, this taste of a certain lifestyle. Like it wasn't fame, but there was a little bit of recognition. There wasn't like money, but I wasn't uncomfortable financially. Yeah. Right. That wasn't yeah. like all of those type of things. And I really think that it allowed me to focus on what actually like generates like my passion and and feelings and emotion in life and not just what it's like everybody else was doing. So I really, and, and also it allowed us to watch ourselves in this weird unbiased third person perspective where even when we knew that the editing was like us at us at our worst, we're like, yep, still gave it to him though. So f it. if the if people at home can't realize that like my head shaved in one fucking scene and it's down, to, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, it, you have eventually you own it and you're like, is that who I want to be? And so watching him like, you asked a different question though. You said, what is it like watching? Oh my him? God, you lost me. Back to back to back. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it's like. The reason I got out is because I saw what was happening to everybody from doing them back to back to back to back to back. It was ruining mm. like colleges. It was ruining friendships. It was ruining people getting jobs and careers. I was yes. running a mechanical bull in Hollywood and busting my ass going to acting classes and like doing everything else. When And like a lot of people were just like, like, wow, I, uh, I don't want to talk about other people, right? No shame, no blame. Anyways, for me, I, just was like, I didn't want to get off course on life on being successful so that I could have a family and could provide others the same opportunity to dream like my parents gave me mm. just because like I was so enjoying the spotlight. Yeah. No, I think that's fair. I mean, yeah, you get a different point of view once it starts coming out and you realize what you really want going forward. Yeah. I, I couldn't answer your question because I forgot it because Adam was so like <laughs> there. I was no. just like, oh, you totally lost me. <laughs> lost just, what, what was that transition post reality TV like for you? Oh, to come like, back to real world, to the real, yeah. real life world? Yeah. Um, For me, out of sight, out of mind. Mm. I'm done, done, peace out. 48 hours, I'm back on track doing what I have to do. This is, for me, reality is what I live. That's my reality. I get up yeah. in the morning, I make sure my daughter eats her breakfast. I pa pack, still pack her little lunchbox because when she goes <laughs> on the court, I want to make sure she has her fruits and water. <laughs> and then off I go to the runnings, you know, designing houses, building them. I didn't sit there and dwell, oh, I'm such a celebrity. I honestly, I mean, I think I'm super awesome. I think I'm the coolest. I'm the hottest. I have a dashing personality and I really don't, listen, it's like from back in the days, don't, don't give a crap of what anybody else thinks about me. I know I'm the greatest and I know I'm going to walk down the street and I'm going to turn heads, whether they're going to throw eggs at me or flowers. I don't know, but I'm going to turn those heads. So um, for me, reality is what I live and not on TV. I love it. I'm in my reality at the place I'm in. So if I'm there, that's my reality. And I'm going to be the best what I am at in that environment. When I come back home, this is my reality. And this is where I'm going to be the best that I am. So it doesn't, um, for me, it doesn't, I don't get jaded. I think I'm I'm a superstar. So I really don't I care what other I don't care what other people think. As long as <laughs> I'm good with it and I think I am, that's all that matters. That's a good answer, I think. <laughs> all right, I got to wrap, but it was a pleasure speaking with both of you. Uh, and I Bye. can't wait to see the rest of the season. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye, thank you. Nice to meet you, Brian. Bye, nice to meet you too, Adam. Have a good one. Bye.